I am still having issues with uh, Google um, on my phone trying to sign into Google um, I think it's two weeks ago <laughs> two two weeks ago on Sunday probably that um, I for oh, I don't, can't remember I created a a new YouTube account for Mark it might have been two three weeks ago um, and wanted to upload to YouTube for his YouTube channel from my phone and um, I had to jump through various hoops and still didn't get it right and um, gave up in the end and um, ever since then I've not been able to sign into YouTube from my phone so like if I'm out as I was today um, I was thinking oh hold on I can upload this um, short video that I've done through on my phone using 4G um, but of course I can't because I can't sign into to Google so anyway um, whilst I'm sorting that out because apparently I now have to wait 48 hours and then they'll let me sign in which is really kind of them um, I, I won't do that I'll take it out of the phone on the and transfer it to the laptop on the SD card but it's just it's slower 4G was really fast and I thought well it's only a I think it, I can't remember how many minutes is the video now, but it's not very long. Um, but I was thinking as I was farting around and have been thinking um, over the course of the last few hours that um, I think it is useful for the people that, that, that come over and um, make their, their negative comments on my, um, on my vlogs or tick dislike they might want to know that what they're doing is giving my um improving my reach <laughs> so however angry you are or however pissed off with me you are if you interact with any of my videos you're improving their reach um so thank you i just thought you might like to know that you might although really you're not going to know that until you come and have a look at this one and then but it might give you a bit of um, advice for the future that actually sitting on your hands and saying nothing and touching nothing is probably um, going to do me more harm um, than coming and disliking it or, or commenting making negative comments um, somebody commented earlier about oh you know I can't remember what it was now um, well this channel won't do very well people don't like negativity and so I commented and said yes you're, you're right and then I um, copied in the, I think it's 286 new subscribers in the last 28 days. So I don't think he's right. Anyway, the video that you won't get now, because you're going to get this one later, um, the video that you will get that you may or may not like, but I made it anyway, was a wet drive through France because we drove into uh, Memorion to pick up the chicken food and a few bits from Superu and I thought that you might be interested in a wet drive through France it's silent um, we didn't speak well it's not silent because the rear windscreen wiper needs replacing so that was really irritating and because I'd said to Mark I'm going to make a silent vlog I couldn't say to him could you turn that rear, <laughs> rear windscreen wiper off so it's not silent because of the windscreen wipers but apart from that it's silent we're not talking um, and you know me, I'm not going to try and add music to it because that will completely fuck it up. Um, so, yeah, and we. Um, so I just thought you might like to see because you can see through the rain, you can see where we are, you can see the river and then you can see some blossom coming out in places. Um, because I was silent, I didn't say anything, but actually diesel is 220 a litre down there at Supra now, um, which is a bit odd because petrol is two euros a litre. And in France, it, ever since we've known it, it's always been the other way around. Diesel's always been cheaper. So now diesel has overtaken by a big chunk. And when we last, when I last commented on it or when I last thought to look or was out and about, I think when we were in Chauvigny, not that many days ago, it was 186. That was, it was 186 a litre. It's now 220. Um, and I obviously understand why that is. And um, I'd rather be paying more for my fuel than be as, as some people have commented sitting in a underground station or trying to protect myself from being shelled or all of what's going on there or 
not being able to escape from the city that I've now, that, you know, the human, the, um, the, the, what corridors, something corridors are being shelled anyway, you know, so I can't get out. I'm stuck. I'd rather be paying more for my fuel, but I do feel sorry for those people that are daily traveling, working nurses that have to go out in the community and travel around and visit people and are using loads of fuel per day. I don't know how they're going to afford it. Um, and I'm sure that 220 isn't its limit. God knows what it will be. Um, and it's one of the first world prices of war, right? I suppose you'd say it's, you know, it's, it's the price of war is not, it's not just fuel. It, you know, it's just, it's one of the lesser things, but actually in this first world, in this world, for some people it's really important and really difficult. A lot of people heat with oil. So, um, yeah, it's not good. Anyway, remember not to dislike. Remember not to talk or interact with this video um, because otherwise you'll be helping my reach. And that's my tip for Friday. Bon weekend.